Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day's trading session, Tuesday, the 1st of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of numbers, FTSE 100 finished up 51 points at 7423. DAX finishing higher up 133, up a whopping 1%. Very, very uh, impressive. Okay, certainly you have the CAC higher, the FTSE MIB, certainly all higher across the board. In terms of economic data today, we certainly had the summation of uh, a weaker US data, weaker US car sales as well, certainly dragging on the uh, European uh, sectors to a large extent. Okay, also in terms of the uh, US, European data, we had uh, EU GDP in line. Uh, PMI missing slightly missing forecast okay certainly taking the pressure of the euro USD to a large extent and I think that's what basically triggered the short squeeze high and a very impressive rally as well with the German DAX closing the gap at uh, 12300 so a very very impressive rally on the German DAX today okay so we're waiting the we're waiting for the uh, Apple um, results um, earnings after the bell and again that will be a major market mover in terms of uh, European markets or the FTSE 100 itself, certainly uh, rolls on the back of um, Rolls Royce and BP, certainly helping the FTSE, stronger Chinese data as well, Asian markets higher as well, Dow hitting a new record, hitting a breaking through that 22,000 barrier, that's certainly helping the FTSE 100 higher. Uh, in terms of the drag on the FTSE 100, the oil price certainly sliding today. If you look at the price of oil, you certainly see a bearish engulfing candle on a daily chart as we hold that Fib 75% resistance. 60-minute chart certainly depicts the uh, the actual uh, share uh, amount of the actual sell-off itself. It, from a pivot high of 50.4 down to uh, 48.3. So a $2 sell-off in oil certainly caused a weakness in the FTSE towards the close. Now let's bring up the actual uh, indexes, uh, the German DAX first and foremost. Let's just bring that up for you folks. Okay. German DAX on the daily chart, certainly a thrust higher bullish engulfing candle as we approach that gap filled below. 60 minute chart certainly did go ahead and close the actual gap uh, that existed at 12.305. Very impressive rally to say the least. We certainly held that double bottom and then obviously we bounced quite sharply. So let's just bring up the uh, actual chart here as well. Looking at this, so you break out here. Uh, certainly held the uh, diagonal trend line there okay so that's basically what we're focusing on for now uh, in terms of the german dax 10 minute chart certainly flushed as we as soon as we close the gap and we certainly push lower now any retrace certainly will find support in this region here and here so 12 200 okay looking for support in this zone okay so 12 200 12 160 that's the zone that we're looking for in for potential support in terms of the French CAC, let's just bring the French CAC for you. Certainly flush towards the close. Uh, daily chart, let's just bring up the daily chart. Daily chart still has that unfill gap below. Uh, slightly uh, below at 5,060. Let's see if we can close that. There's still are multiple unfill gaps above. 60 minute chart certainly held that key resistance. The resistance was seen at 5,148. And then we subsequently flush. But for now, double bottom certainly is at 5,090. And let's see how the market responds there. 10 minute chart, French CAC again. We certainly pushed higher up to that key 5144. I was expecting resistance at 5142 to hold that. That wasn't the case. And then obviously we subsequently reversed. So keep an eye on the French CAC there in terms of resistance, certainly holding at 5148. Okay, potential support 5110 and obviously 5090 below. In terms of Euro stocks, whilst we're on the European equities, let's just bring the Euro stocks. We certainly went above and closed that gap at 50. 93 almost there okay and then we started to flush on the downside so very impressive rally on the uh, euro stocks from my perspective i certainly was close on my short trade so very very impressive uh, again back into that 3490 resistance zone on the uh, the actual uh, 60 minute chart on the uh, euro stocks okay so again looking for weakness there around the 3490 FTSE 100 chart certainly holding and uh, closing that gap around the 7440 zone Okay, we still have an unfilled gap below at 7.370, so watch out below. Especially with oil prices down $2 a barrel. Uh, okay, so again, watch out for further weakness in the FTSE. Whether we're consolidating here for a bull flag is a totally different story. For now, that key to support is holding at 7.405, 7.410. 10-minute 10 chart on the FTSE 100. Again, you're looking at resistance for now, folks. Okay, gap fill resistance. So again, in terms of support, you're looking at support around the 7.405. 
and then you're looking at support around the 7410 zone as well so watch out below okay and be aware you have the unfilled gap below okay so i think that's a good summation in terms of european equities please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus and make sure you download the latest app app trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers goodbye now